Welcome my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'd be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peeps, my peoples. Peep squad is in the building, baby. We're going to the top, to the top, to the top, baby. We're going to bring others with us. So please become a part of Notification Squad. Peep squad, hit that notification bell, baby. Know each and every time I drop a video and tell me what's on your mind. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the situation with Tammy Roman and basically um, out here speaking up for Nene Leaks and also talking about her relationship with um, Shawnee O'Neal from Basketball Wives too as well. We're going to talk about Jennifer Williams and her relationship with um, Shawnee O'Neal and then also, you know, her back and forth with Sheree Whitfield from she used to be on Real Housewives of Atlanta, but she's making her way back in. Whether she got to come at Jennifer, whether she her mother disappears or not, she's trying to get back in. And you can't blame them because the economics that's going on, you got to get in where you fit in and get the dollar that you can get, baby. And that seems like a whole lot going on. And, you know, let's just get into it. So let's talk about it. So, you know, Tammy Roman, she's been doing interviews and things like that. And, you know, she had an interview not too long ago and she was with doc she was on dr heavenly's you know um interviewing with her and basically you know she's also she stepped out and she stood up for nene leaks and she has some things to say and basically she's kind of feeling a certain type of way because of vivica fox and claudia jordan the way that she feels like they was insinuating that nene leaks was you know on that coca and also was she needing to go to counseling to dry out why is she going to counseling to dry up or she's going to rehab what kind of therapy is she um receiving and so you know Vivica Fox didn't actually say that Nene Leakes was actually doing drugs. She did the gesture, which is a universal gesture. And then we had Claudia Jordan do the gesture. And then we had um, Lisa Ray do the gesture too as well. And then they say it was sweat or oh, blase in the third. All the, all, all the stuff that they was, you know, saying about Nene Leakes, whether we don't know if it's true or not. And we know that Miss Vivica Fox, she's been out in these streets for a long time, especially the Hollywood streets. So... We don't know if she knows people that know Nene or, you know, or if she's seen it done or she's seen it happen because, you know, Vivica Fox was at Nene Leak's wedding special, I believe. And so it's kind of like, you know, now she's out here just disrespecting Nene and talking about this and talking about that. Like, how is she going to dry it? I'm basically kind of saying that why does she need counseling? And it was basically, and Claudia Jordan was throwing in jokes about, you know, Nene and counseling and things like that. Well, you know, I didn't need counseling when Nene cussed me out, when Nene said I was broke, when Nene said this about when, me, when Nene said that, you know, I was filing bankruptcy and I was poor and I was, uh, you know, whore or whatever the case may be. So we had, you know, we talked about that already, but... It seems like Tammy Roman was like, basically, if someone is saying that they want to get mental help, let them get men mental help because basically they need it. And plus, it can affect their behaviors and make them change too as well. And even though that they're involved in drama, even though that they might, you know, cause drama, but the repercussions basically can play on your psyche and it can affect your family, your business and everything else. And we also know that Nene Leaks, you know, Greg had cancer. That was something to deal with too as well. And then maybe at one point in time, Nene Leaks thought that she was going to be bad. And you know, these girls, she feels like these girls are teaming up against her and things like that. There is a such thing that call a paranoia dis disability or paranoia, you know, um, symptoms where people suffer from it mentally where they think everybody's out to get them because of things that they've been through in the past things that happened to them that was negative and having back and forth with people and then friendships breaking up sometimes people can be so much paranoid about such certain things where they think everybody's out to get them and Nene basically thought that maybe she had it you know maybe she can maybe she can do this thing and, and these girls are coming at me which she believes is Kenya Moore she believes it's you know Candy Burris and Cynthia Bailey now Eva Marcel has added on to the situation and she knew that they were kind of like coming at her because of things that she did things that they did going back and forth so it's like mutual combat but she didn't know it was going to be as tough as it was at the reunion and you know candy Burry says basically needy trying to do damage control and you trying to get people to have sympathy for her because you know she didn't show up and show up like she said she was on her youtube channel and other places on instagram but maybe it just hit her so hard that you know she had a breakdown you know it's not too long ago she just had a breakdown with greg and with the producers and the cameraman in her closet so therefore it seems like you know um 
Nene needs some healing. If she wants to go to counseling and she's saying she's going to therapy, that's good too as well. And that's going to be good for her psyche. And then on top of that, if she does, if she is pursuing a lawsuit against being blackmailed or people coming after her or trying to stop her bag with, you know, basically having, you know, spin-off shows that she's being blackballed all over, you know, the networks, all different networks. And basically it helped build her case too as well that she's really suffering because we know Nene has been saying from the beginning when she started her YouTube channel and was reviewing her shows, she felt like everybody was against her and the production and things like that. And she felt like some people done worse to these ladies but yet they all attacking me and some people say that you know nini you know she put the spoon out there and basically you know caused some of the situation but we have tammy roman that's basically speaking up for nini leaks and saying that she doesn't understand why anybody would say that she uses drugs because she doesn't know about her using drugs she hasn't seen her use drugs and she don't know anything about that she said she hopes there's a cease and desist letter coming being sent over to them too as well and as far as she's concerned, she just doesn't understand why that would happen. And so Nene, like for you accuse somebody of messing up their reputation is really not a cool thing at all. So it is what it is with that situation. So basically, you know, Tammy Roman said you should support somebody with the issues. You should basically, you know, encourage them to go seek counseling and maybe there could be a change that actually could really happen between all the ladies because if one change, maybe they all would change, you know, and follow suit too as well and actually follow forgive Nini for the things that they believe that she has done to them or understand that she was going through some type of you know mental situation at the time whatever the case may be where you know if you feel like somebody's demonic you feel like somebody you know is crazy because we already know that Kenya Moore that says that she thinks that Nini Leakes is bipolar and we heard that being brought up so if she's actually seeking out therapy it's a good thing so encourage it and not shit on it basically that's what Tammy Roman is saying and she said you know therapy works wonders so we have you know basically Tammy Roman went to Instagram and she posted posted a comment under the neighborhood talk you know um instagram page and basically was saying you know things about it's not funny to make fun of people with mental illness or make fun of people that are actually going out there to try to seek help regardless of what they have done in the past they're trying to change and basically reality tv is hard because one minute you're cool with one person next minute you're not and the little disputes that you do have with one another you think that they can be worked out and they most likely could but once you get home and you read comments and you hear what people are saying it kind of like absolutely change your mind on certain things too as well so that was a lot that, you know, Tammy Roman was actually saying about the situation. So, um, you know, Tammy Roman's doing her thing and basically she's been supportive. You'd be like, damn, is there anybody else out here that, you know, support, you know, um, Nene Leakes? Because it don't really seem like too many people are out here that got Nene's back at all. And so it is what it is. And then, you know, so we're basically talking about that point of, Tammy Roman basically supporting, you know, Nene and basically, you know, giving a helping hand. And then we move on to the situation where we talk about, you know, um, Tammy Roman, you know, dealing with certain things when she was dealing with, you know, um, with basketball wife and her situation going down with that situation with, you know, um, Shawnee O'Neal and how all that went down and basically, you know, she gives her, she states what she believed that happened and, you know, and she said, you know, the season kind of like really left a bad taste in her mouth and everything else like that because of like, she really thought that she was cool with, you know, Shawnee and they really had a relationship, but then, you know, she realized that the relationship was one-sided and basically having Evelyn Lozada come back onto the show was basically a slap in the face to her where she felt like, you know, really Shawnee didn't have her back too as well. And then also being faced by Evelyn Lozada and her accusations and the negative things that Evelyn said about, you know, Tammy Roman and her pregnancy and lying that she couldn't get pregnant and all types of things and making fun of her sickness and her illness, you know, that she's suffering from and she had lost weight. And then, you know, um, Evelyn Lozada saying all these negative things about Tammy Roman and that made, that forced Tammy Roman's hand to bring up the Chad Ocho Cinco situation. And then also Tammy Roman has spoke about 
Evelyn Lozada trying to get her fired from Basketball Wives and also trying to get her um, blackballed by not working with other different networks and, you know, coming up with show ideas where Evelyn Lozada was sending information to producers and executives basically trying to blackball, you know, um, Tammy Roman. And so Tammy Roman has spoke about that too as well. But, you know, she basically was talking to Dr. Heavenly recently and she said the environment is crazy. She also said like you can have beefs and altercations or little small little squabbles with your cast members and it not really be a big deal. But once you get home and you start reading everything else, it basically makes you feel like, oh, maybe I was getting played. Maybe they was lying on me. Maybe this, maybe that. And then that's why she's also giving her opinion on the NeNe Leak situation because she's been on both sides she, you know she's been the aggressor and she's been the victim too as well so you guys tell me what you think about that situation and then basically you know um Tammy also says that you know she could possibly return to basketball wives if some people are absent from the situation and that's Evelyn Lozada hopefully Evelyn Lozada doesn't come through and she doesn't come back and we don't ever see her again but we already know that we're gonna see her again but and then also Tammy speaks on her relationship with Shawnee. She thought that Shawnee was her road dog. She thought Shawnee was her friend and Shawnee absolutely wasn't her friend and Shawnee chose sides. She chose, you know, Evelyn. Of course she was going to choose Evelyn because Evelyn was her go-to girl. They've been friends for a long time. And, you know, um, Tammy thought that they did have a camaraderie. They had a friendship, but she realized that she didn't have that with Tam. She didn't have that with Tammy. And basically, you know, she was shocked and she didn't know that it was like that. You you know what I mean? And she thought that they had a sisterhood, but they really didn't. And basically, the things that, you know, Evelyn Lozada has did to Tammy Roman and then having Febreze come in and try to talk about, you know, Tammy and come at Tammy, like coming at the OG, Febreze, fall back, baby, for real, for real. So, you know, we have that situation. Then we also have the text messages that was leaked, you know, by um, Aaron, Aaron, which was Jennifer's ex, Nichols, you know, basically confirming everything that, you know, Miss Tammy Roman then said. So, it is what it is. Hopefully, we get to see Tammy Roman back. But, it was nice to see Tammy Roman come out and defend, you know, NeNe, because it seems like NeNe ain't got no friends out here, baby. As far as celebrities saying, you know, using a disclaimer that no, NeNe don't do drugs. And we know the same thing happened to Mariah from Married to Medicines. She's been accused of being, you know, using that coca or whatever the case may be. So it is what it is. Then we move on to Sheree Whitfield and we move on to, you know, Jennifer. So I guess Sheree is feeling a certain type of way when it comes to, you know, Jennifer because Jennifer did a interview with Nene Lease and basically she said when she met, you know, um, the man Aaron Nichols that stole from her and took from her that, you know, sh she was invited to a party that, um... She was invited to a party that Sheree Whitfield was throwing. And so she said, like, this guy was connected. He was connected in the Hollywood circles and things like that. And so I guess Sheree was feeling a certain type of way. Why are you trying to put me up with this scammer or whoever he is and say that he came to a party at my house? You could have left my name out the situation. And that's how Sheree is feeling because basically you're trying to say I'm in bed with a, a scammer. Not a scam like she's actually in bed, but, you know, she's dealing with scammers. And Sheree has dealt with some scammers because the dude the last time she was on real housewives of atlanta the her, her bae her boyfriend her man her fiance that was in jail you know what i mean he was scamming out here and doing fraud and so now you have mr A um Aaron Nichols out here doing fraud and he was over there at Sheree's house and he invited Jennifer to come through and so you know Sheree was feeling a certain type of way about that she was like uh uh I ain't liking that situation you know girl you better back back you better back down I was like mm 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 what's really going on with that situation like yes I was like lord have mercy so you know you have that situation going on and um Sheree Whitfield is feeling a certain type of way. You know, like, she's feeling like, uh-uh, don't be trying to put this on me. And don't be acting like, you know, I'm connected to this guy like that. Because that ain't even, that ain't even the question. That ain't even the situation. I was like, Lord have mercy. What's really going on? Mm -mm -mm. We got beef out here in these streets with these celebrities. And their interviews, they stay online. You know, putting themselves in the middle of so much stuff. So it is what it is with the situation. 
And, you know, Sheree, she took to social media and she was upset about the situation because she felt like Jennifer is trying to lump her in with a criminal and that's not the case. So, you know, Sheree, she needs her her, her shine and she's trying to get her 15 minutes back, baby. You know, and she's going to do whatever it takes, whether her mom's missing and whether her mom's not missing. I was like, Lord have mercy. What's really going on with that situation? And so then we get on to, you know, basically, you know, um, Jennifer, she does the interview with Nene Leaks and everything else like that. We have that situation. And then she went on to Michelle Brown's channel. And basically, you know, she was asked about how does she feel about Sheree coming after her. And she doesn't understand why Sheree is even coming after her at all. And she doesn't get the situation why she's doing it. Like, she was like, nobody talked about her negative. Nobody was trying to say that, you know, she was basically, you know, involved with this guy. Basically, I was speaking about my situation. And you just talking about the circles that Aaron Nichols was in and one of them one of the circles that he was in was with Sheree and Sheree didn't like that and so basically Jennifer's like I don't know what's going on I don't know why she's doing this I don't know why she's upset but you know it is what it is and basically <laughs> She added, but girl, you know him. That's really was the bottom line. You know him and you knew and you knew him, honey. The streets, they found the receipts. He was on an episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta where she was, was I don't know, I guess it was the Chateau Charade party or whatever. There he is in the background in the kitchen. So you know this man. I did not even know him back then. So basically, it is what it is. And, you know, Jennifer was like, I don't know why you stressing me. You know, I don't know why you stressing stressing or trying to make a big deal out of the situation. But we know Sheree is going to be on Watch What Happens Live. And it's alleged that she might be on, you know, Real Housewives of Atlanta pretty soon. So you guys tell me what the situation is. And a lot of people are saying that Sheree you know, basically used her, um, that she used her mother's situation and everything else like that to basically, you know, um, to get clout or basically be talked about. So I don't know how true that situation is, but that's what people on the street saying that Sheree mother never disappeared. She was never lost. You know, she didn't even drive to Ohio, wherever she was found or she was found in Ohio, Alabama or whatever, she was well and and she didn't drive all the way there and basically people calling her out on the situation and saying Sheree is doing everything for fame and she's trying to get back in because the block is hot and basically you need some drama because everybody's in quarantine you know what I mean and so moving on from that situation you know um Jennifer, you know, she moved, Jennifer also spoke on, you know, Shawnee O'Neal, basically saying that, you know, Shawnee O'Neal is going to be the producer of Basketball Wife, she's going to be the EP, she's staying the EP, she's not losing any credit, she has all the credit to be the EP, it's not going to change, and if y'all think that it's going to change, you're wrong, Shawnee's going to stay the um, VP the EP of the show and that's going to be the situation because she's kind of like the founder of the show and basically she, last year with so many views and the ratings went up so much from Basketball Wives last season with OG and you know and CC and Kristen Scott and Evelyn Lozada acting a complete plum fool and then you know, all that situation that went down. So basically, Jennifer Williams is saying she has been filming for Basketball Wives and Shawnee's still in charge. She's still the HBIC of the show and she didn't lose no power at all. So you guys tell me what you think about the situation. Peace and out. Much love to all my peeps and my peoples.